Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Tony back with another video. And today, apparently, not today, I think this yeah, yesterday, either yesterday or the day before. No, it was the day before yesterday, because yesterday was Super Bowl Sunday. So it was the day before yesterday. Kodak, gosh, Kodak and like two other individuals got shot at a Justin Bieber after party. If I do believe Kodak got shot in the leg, and I don't know about the other two, like where, like you know, the, the like where the other two individuals got shot. But I heard Kodak got shot in the leg, and it was because of like an altercation, like it was a fight or whatever. So you know, say so we gonna see what happens. You know, he gonna break it down for us and tell us everything that he know, or whatever. But you know, I'm just happy that Kodak is I. Right, you feel me? I'm happy that he made it out. You know, what I'm saying he gonna he gonna fully recover from the situation. So. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that, like, you know, nobody lost their lives in the process of any of this, but, you know, I'm not really, I don't know everything, I just, you know, I've seen what I've seen on IG, and my dad also, he the one that told me about it, like, he, he had to know, like, you know, Kodak got shot, like, yo, Kodak didn't get shot, you feel me, because usually, when something like that happens, bro, I open up Instagram, bro, I open up Instagram, it be, it be the first, it be the first thing that pop up when I, when I open the, or, couple scrolls, couple scrolls, and that's what I see. But that wasn't the case, so we we finna find out what's going on, bro. Doing what I'm supposed to. Why you at the brand new? Girl, I want the old you. All these hoes in my DM, but somehow I chose you. I can tell the sun is wrong, girl. You know I know you. I act what you got for us today. So nigga, so nigga, man down over there. Oh shit. Check it out now. Holy, that's why I dipped. Now, ladies and gentlemen, listen, when I was up in LA uh, the last couple of days, but man, I could just tell it was a bunch of coonery about to transpire. I headed back to Miami. Okay, now I did an interview with our Roddy Rich coming out soon. However, if you don't know, all of the rappers, okay, have descended on LA because of the Super Bowl. Okay. Now everybody got bookings, hostings, they're networking, they're going to each other's parties. A lot of people usually feel safe because they're out of town. However, LA is one of the places that recently crime has taken over because they got strict gun laws. And basically, usually nobody got a gun. Okay, now when you introduce a bunch of rappers, influencers, and millionaires into the mix, things get a little dicey. Now, we should all learn from the King Von incident and from other incidents, you could even say the K-Flock incident, Dudes ain't fighting no more, okay? A simple fist fight. This is what I tell people all the time, bro. Cause I'll be telling people like, yo, bro, like, I don't go outside, bro. And I, it's not that I'm, I'm scared and nothing like that. Like, I don't really go outside regardless. But like, when I'm outside, I don't feel safe, bro. Cause like, I don't, I don't, I don't like guns. I don't mess with guns. I don't like weapons. You feel me? And it's just that's just like. The sad reality is, if you get into any type of altercation with somebody, you don't know what is going on with nothing, bro. Like even even one time I was I was in the Bronx, bro. Like I was in the Bronx just chilling with my brother, and some some shit popped off. You feel me? Some shit popped off, but like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not losing my life over nothing. And when you from the hood, you know, like you know when somebody got something on them. When you lacking, you you know. So it's like me, you feel me? I, I don't claim myself to be no gangster or none. So you feel me? You got it, bro. You got it. Like you could call me whatever. You can call me the, the B. You can call me the P. You got it. But you know what I'm saying? Like now, imagine if, cause I ain't gonna lie, to you, if if I had. You know what I'm saying? On me, it would have been a whole different story. I'm not gonna sit here. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. It would have been a different story. But you know, it's just sorry. I like nobody fight no more. And people, and it's crazy. Like when people got it on them, that's when they really try to talk like crazy too. Because like they 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 feel empowered now. So they they gonna even they gonna talk more than they normally do because they got it on them. And I guarantee that's exactly what that dude. Who, that's exactly what Buddy did to us, bro. So that's a hundred percent facts, bro fight usually ends with gunshots okay now kodak black and his homies was outside of a party or actually outside of a concert like like uh, i guess justin Bieber performed at a venue and it was a bunch of people chilling outside it was gunna it was like quavo it was like you know uh kodak and everybody's chilling anyway later on a fight erupts now one of kodak homies starts to fight some other guy 
Kodak, being a real street Florida Broward boy, he hops in his fight because he's he not going to leave his homie just to scrap by himself by his dolly. Now, when he hops in, he starts to deliver the beats. And I think we're realizing where this is going. When you are getting beat up, you're going to... That's why nobody fight. Look, I'm going to tell you, the reason why nobody fight no more is because niggas know that, especially when you fight somebody who know, you know for a fact that shit going to go around that you got your fucking ass beat. So, so you don't go down, you like you got your ass beat, you want to go out like a real nigga and say, yeah, I shot that, like, you feel me, I did that, you feel me, I boom boom that dude, you feel me, I hit that dude with a boop boop bow, you feel me, that's why people don't want to fight, because they don't want to, they don't want to be known as a person who got their ass whooped, that's why people don't fight no more, word. going to be publicly embarrassed, usually somebody pulls out a gun to somehow change the topic, okay? The fuck I just say? Hey. Now, while Kodak Black and his friends try to, like, stomp on some dude who, like, fell, basically somebody pulled out a gun and shot several times. Kodak Black was one of the people hit. He was reportedly hit in the foot. There were other people that were hit as well, and clearly this person was just firing blindly. They're saying four men ages 60, 24, 22, and 19 were hit, okay? Of course, uh, Kodak, I believe Kodak's 24, so... There was just three other people, but there's a 60-year-old shot, and if I could just maybe assume, the 60-year-old wasn't probably in the fight, okay? Now, police are looking for the shooter, but the dude is calling 4K, okay? I mean, there's a million cameras out there, but these days, and when I say people ain't fighting, they're shooting nowadays, they know yeah. that you're at an area where everybody's going to record, but being the... The subject of a possible L to be circulated online, nobody wants to take that anymore. Okay, recently. I would rather go to jail for hella long than just take an L. Like, that's crazy. When we saw the whole thing with the baby and Danny Lay's, like, brother, uh, Brandon Bills, when he was able to catch an L and, like, you know, go home and just get online, talk his smack, he's a good man because most people would have pulled out a gun right then and there all right That's unfortunately gunshots were fired unfortunately kodak was hit but he is in stable condition okay we're hearing it was a leg shot and we're hearing he should survive but i have no update from his immediate team or him we've seen him start to tweet but it doesn't we don't know if that's him tweeting we haven't heard anything and usually no. you know i could get a hold of him but you know Right now, you know, if he's in the hospital, you try to give him some space. But he's saying he's going to be in the Super Bowl. Don't know how true that is. However, him getting shot for jumping in a fight, I know what y'all going to say in the comment section. Yo, you Kodak, why are you hopping in your homies' fights? Well, if he just stand, if he just stood over there like a diva, y'all would call him a bitch, right? There's this is a no-win situation. He Let stands over the corner. He doesn't jump in his homies' fight. You call him a bitch, okay? He's not about it, okay? He jumps in, beat the dude up. You be like, oh, yeah, he's super tough. Then the dude who beats up, you, you're gonna laugh and say, Why he cover it up unless that's like somebody else's picture? But why cover it up now? Like you already showed it in the last one. And he can, like, you know what I mean, handle fighting for whatever dudes. And then if one of the dudes pulls a little Tim and shoots somebody, you're gonna look at him and say, He's a bitch, he's pussy. But if it was Kodak and his crew that shot him, listen, man, it's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Basically, just keep your hands to yourself and to be honest, assume everybody got a gun. Everybody got a gun, okay? Just assume. Right. That's what do you guys think about it? Give me a comment. I'll see you guys later. Subscribe. Why can't I miss? Hey, man. Hey, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. It's your boy Sway. We out of here.